we're gonna use this processing algorithms of Ableton. I have a patch here, let's take a listen. <laughs> putting like a ton of warp pretty much manipulating with this sample here by using the warpings let's do some things with the beat warping i'm not really worried about the end result like i don't need to have like an immediately great sample right now I'm just kind of messing around, coming with, coming up with ideas. So now that we have our first kind of like step, we're going to freeze and flatten these. And we're pretty much just going to do the same thing with these samples as we do the others. And you'll be surprised of what you can get. Sometimes you're not going to get like really good results, but you, what you're going to do is just going to keep on trying random stuff. It's a numbers game. The more you do, the more you'll find some interesting stuff or at least some ideas. I got some cool samples here. Let's see what we got. And yesterday I was messing around using the same technique. And this is kind of like what I got from bass tone. Yeah, and this is some samples that I got from that. I like that one, that's a nice cool sustain tone. And I like these as like drums and stuff. <laughs> 